Hi everybody, Michelle Held from Pintalk.net and I'm here today to bring you a Pinterest for Business checklist. Recently, I conducted a Pinterest for Business webinar in association with one of the sponsors at a trade show I was at and I put together a webinar for SEM Rush. and from that I put a new board on my Pinterest account called the Pinterest for Business webinar and if you click through you can see all the information that I used for the webinar. We talked about buyable pins, rich pins, what makes a good image for a pin, descriptions, some of the popular boards on Pinterest, good times to pin, popular categories, and other things that businesses can use to get traffic to their site using Pinterest. So I'm going to leave this board up on my Pinterest account. And if you go through to my website, I put a Pinterest for Business checklist. Now on this checklist are things if you need to get started on Pinterest, stuff that you can do for your website, preparing your website for use on Pinterest, including adding images, adding open graph protocol if you want to use rich pins, and I recommend that you do. I do on my site. Configuring your site with social share buttons and the connect buttons, see up in the upper right corner so you can follow me or share my content. And then making sure that your site is mobile friendly. If you're using something like WordPress, this should be pretty easy for you to do. Opening a Pinterest business account as opposed to a personal account, that really is just a matter of saying, yes, I want to convert to business. Verifying your website domain so that in your Pinterest account, you have a clickable link here right through to your website. And saying, yes, I have ownership of this top level domain. We always, of course, want to be sure that you have completed bios using up as much room, uh, as, many, as many characters as possible. And then you want to install and verify analytics. So if you convert to a business account, that'll pretty much take care of that. You just have to go in and click and say, yes, I want to use analytics. Put that meta tag on your site, verifying your domain, and then you'll get Pinterest analytics as uh, some of your users and pinners are getting um, images off of your site and you'll get data on that as well. So very important if you want to maximize your use on Pinterest to use Pinterest analytics as well as some other third party stats package like uh, Stat Counter or Google Analytics HubSpot. I recommend that you create a lot of boards, of course, things with your products and services, but then other sharing as well. So you make it a community approach to social media as you should with any social media platform. Other things on the business checklist. We want to set cover photos on all our boards because if you don't, they're simply going to rotate. Pinterest will choose it for you. And rotating these images often to keep your account looking fresh. Do some keyword research. You can use Pinterest search, guided search, or Google suggestions if you don't know where to look for keywords. This is good for SEO for your website as well as your Pinterest account. Make sure you assign each of your boards a category and then work with popular categories into your boards, meaning if you are, say, Home Depot, they do an excellent job of working with the food category. No, they don't sell food and they don't prepare food, but they do sell grills, so they do a great job of making that one of their boards. Use, make use of some of the specialized, board, specialized boards. Maps, secret boards, group boards. Secret boards are good for you planning with your team or setting up specials and promotions. Group boards are great for getting traffic and followers. Find some other relevant boards to join and invite others to your group boards, but make sure you have the time to monitor a group board if you're going to invite other pinners. Another use for group boards is Pinterest doesn't have the concept of an account admin, so you can just make someone who's going to be an administrator for your account, you can invite them as a collaborator on all your boards. Gather content for your Pinterest account and your website, product shots, Lifestyle images, you can pin videos, but they need to be hosted on Vimeo or YouTube. You can't upload them directly to Pinterest yet. Do-it-yourself pins. These are, they can be made for almost any industry, product, or service brand. And they're a big favorite on Pinterest as well as infographics. And be sure to use a specialized pins like promoted pins. That's pay-per-click. Uh, a buyable pin, you have to be hosting an e-commerce site on Magento or one of the IBM platforms. And then rich pins, this site makes use of rich pins and they are more searchable, more likely to turn up in searches. 
If you look in your Pinterest analytics, you'll see it's always the rich pins that do best as far as impressions and being repinned. And then make sure you maximize, take up all the characters you can in your descriptions, use your keywords, make this a bit of a search engine optimization game too. Make sure each pin has a URL. You don't want to have a pin that doesn't have a URL in it. I'm seeing if I have one on the board here to show you. If you don't have a right here, so this one says uploaded by user. I don't know if that will not click through. So if I, yeah, so yeah, so that says uploaded by user. Let's back up. Uploaded by user right here in the URL. So when I clicked on it, I get the close-up view on Pinterest. And I click on it again because it's uploaded by user as opposed to having a URL in the pin. It just gives me a bigger image. It doesn't end up giving me any traffic back to my website. Don't make that mistake. There's a lot of pins on Pinterest that don't have the URL in them. So if you're just going to upload an image, you can edit the URL. If you're pinning from a website, the URL automatically gets into the pin. Be sure to name the images themselves after keywords that you want to be found for. That's part of Pinterest search. So thank you very much and tune back to my website pintalk.net for more tutorials on Pinterest and other social media as well. Have a great day.